They respected my principles. So like I said, then principles in the long run pay. But I know it's a, it's a lot of suffering. I mean, it's not, it's, not, it's not nice for my wife to tell me so-and-so is working. They're doing a movie. And, then, and, and, and I've been out of a job for three years not working, you know. But then luckily, I had a woman who we met together in the, in the business and she understood uh, the ups and downs of the business and she understood my principles. She understood my principles. I remember I was out of a job, I was offered uh, a, a job to be, uh, to represent a, a liquor firm and I would be given a car. Those days, 250. 250 rands and a company's car was, oh, something great. And I was out of a job. But then I said to myself, man, if I take this job, that means I'll be selling my, my freedom as an artist. Uh, it will be back to master and servants, what's name, sort of a, what's name, a relationship. I said to myself, no, I won't take that. And my wife understood this. But before, some people then would have taken the job. Come on, this car, 250 rands a month, I mean. But then I, I said to myself, no, that will mean now. I must report and, and get the day clock there and say, good morning, sir. All that sort of nonsense. Right? That, that, that means then uh, I've sold my freedom. Because I felt that as an artist, I was free. All right, uh, I could have been. I, I pictured myself, if I had taken the job, I would have been a, a well fed slave. I would have been a well fed slave. But now, in my position then, I was a, a starving free man. So I settled with it, settled with being a, a starving free man. But eventually things worked out and here am I today. Thank you. 